Hello, how's it going? It's Orit here. So in this video, I'm going to share my single release checklist with you. So if you guys are about to release a single, an upcoming single, or later down the road, which is even better, because as you'll find out, uh, then this will be very helpful for you. So there's so many things that you can do leading up to a release, and you know you want to know you want to make sure that you have some sort of reference to make sure that you are doing what you can to get the word out. And this process actually starts two to three months out from when from the actual release date. So the earlier, the better. And I want to say as well before we dive into this that this is a, a release checklist for a single and with the goal of wanting to increase my fans, followers, especially on Spotify as well. So just keep that in mind because there's a ton of there's a ton of different things that you can do leading up to a single release depending on your goal. So, you know, if you want to do like PR stuff, if you want music blogs to write about you, want to get radio, that kind of thing, this is not going to be for you. You're going to have to do an entirely different set of actions. But let me show you what's on my single release checklist and you can take certain things with a grain of salt and add them to your own checklist. This is a checklist that I compiled together from many different resources, including CD Baby, Ariel Hyatt, online blogs and articles that I've written, courses that I've taken on music promotion. So it's all kind of my knowledge, my notes rather, put together in this checklist. So let's dive into it and I hope it helps. So like I said, this process starts at least three months before your release and I apologize for the lack of design here. Normally I design really nice PowerPoint slides, but I just wanted to get this information out to you and I didn't want to spend too much time making this beautiful. It's the information that counts. So two to three months before, you're going to need to do a couple of things. Make sure your song is registered with ASCAP, BMI, SOCAN if you're in Canada. These are all performing rights organizations, so they're referred to as PROs, so that you can register the copyright of your song and make sure that you have it on file for performance royalties. So I won't go into too much detail in this video, that might be a separate video of what this is about, but these are all performance rights organizations, PROs they're referred to. And it basically, these organizations, they, depending on where you live, uh, like BMI, for example, is in US, SOCAN is in Canada. These were, these organizations were created to protect composers of music, to protect their music in the public space. So you want to make sure your song is registered with one of these organizations. Look it up, Google it, and make sure it's registered. Number two, what makes your song unique? So you're going to have to do some digging and deep dives with this song that you're about to release because the more you can get the story behind it, the more you can dive into what it sounds like, what mood it brings, what other artists does it represent or does it sound like, what vibe does it have, what is someone doing when they listen to the song, all of those kinds of things will play a big role into the way that you communicate about your single coming out. So that could mean when you submit it for distribution, it could mean submitting it to playlists, all that kind of stuff this step is really crucial. So make sure you listen to your song and ask yourself these questions like, what is the story behind the song? What vibe does it have? What, you know, genre is very surface level, but go deeper into that. What is the mood behind this song? Write all that stuff down because it's going to come into play later on. Another thing you want to work on is creating your album artwork. So this might mean, you know, getting a photo shoot down for you, for you or your band. It might mean just finding some really cool artwork that represents your music. Either way, it's got to match, again, the vibe of the song, the brand, and make sure you get feedback as well. So what I did was I found a really cool image that matched the vibe of this single that I'm about to release. It's very like like nostalgic, like epic, mysterious, that kind of thing, which is the whole vibe of the song. So I'll show you an example here. I found this image 
to totally describe what the song sounds like. Like if my song was an image, this is what it would look like. So I found this image, it's royalty free. I actually donated money to the, the artist as well because I love it so much and I was really appreciative uh, appreciative that he allowed us to use this royalty free. So I got this image and I created different versions of it in Photoshop. Again, you might need to work with a designer. If you need help too, I'm, I'd be happy to help. I'm a graphic designer too and I've designed tons of these kinds of things. So let me know if, or hit me up if you are interested in that. But so I created different versions of this. One of it was a puzzle piece because the song is called Masterpiece. Um, and I just thought that might be cool. Uh, and then I also created a version with me on it. And I posted these three versions and I numbered them and I just asked for feedback on Facebook. And, you know, I don't normally post these things about for feedback, but I was overwhelmed by how many people actually commented and were into, you know, they participated in this whole creative process of me picking my album artwork for the single. So you can do the same. And the same goes too with this, this step right here. What makes your song unique? Go ahead and ask for feedback. If you have existing fans too, or even on your Facebook profile, Ask for feedback and see what people are saying, what it sounds like, all of that information will really help. So once you have that information, you're gonna work on this step right here, which is to submit the song for distribution. So I use CD Baby, I just love you, I, I love using them and they help me out a lot too when I need it. And so, you, but you have other distributors like DistroKid and TuneCore, and basically what it is is that you are submitting your song along with the album artwork, along with some information about the composers and a description and all that kind of stuff. And you are submitting it to one of these sites that will then go and send it out to all of the, to well, maybe not all because you can, you can determine which platforms you want your song to go out on but it will send it to a collection of streaming sites like Spotify, like Apple Music, Amazon. So I like to do this process early because you're, because even though, for example, CD Baby says they'll, you know, it should be up within a week or two weeks, you never really know because your single is in the hands of a ton of other platforms who are receiving your music and you know, you just don't know what their workload is and what, what's going down in that particular moment in time. So just make sure you do it early so that you don't run into any issues and you're not pulling your hair out stressed because your song isn't live when it's supposed to be. Next thing you can focus on is branding and being active on social media. So if you, if your website isn't updated or if you don't have a website, make sure you get that up, make sure it's up to date. If you aren't active on Facebook or Instagram or wherever you're going to be active most of the time when posting, start to post there. You want to make sure your socials are up to date and active because you don't want to just end up posting once or twice when the single is coming out. You have to create a connection with your audience. You have to harvest that relationship because that is going to come into play later on for you. You know, you want to make sure people are listening and engaging with you and they're active. They're part of your audience. So you need to cultivate that audience in order for them to be listening when your single comes out. So what do you post? You know, there's, there's a ton of things. If you're in that space, you're about to be releasing a new song, you're not gonna be releasing more music. There's so many things that you can do. Maybe you could do covers, you could do royalty-free music like I'm doing. You could do just images of you performing or behind the scenes stuff of you recording. You can post little snippet facts, fun facts about yourself so, can, so people can get to know who you are. And make sure that you are not just posting, but you're also engaging with other people, with your followers, on all the comments and all that kind of stuff. The more you do this, the more it will benefit you in the long run when it comes time to releasing that single. Okay, so 
what happens one to two months before the release date. So here, you want to continue posting daily on socials. And I say daily because if you think about the amount of content that is going out on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, on a daily basis, it's you're competing like crazy for that free space because that's what it is. It's free marketing. These are all free marketing platforms. Nobody needs to pay a thing but they need to pay attention. That's what they need to pay. They have to pay with focus, with effort, and with creating valuable content for your audience. If you can do direct marketing ads, meaning if you can run ads, like use Facebook Ads Manager to run either Instagram story ads or Facebook ads, or even on YouTube to run in-video in ads that promote your videos on YouTube, that will help you scale your audience a lot faster than just daily posting. So the two together work really well. But if you don't have a budget for it, don't worry about it. Just go hard. That means you need to go hard with posting daily on your social media. And I know it's tough. I, I struggle with it myself. I'm really pushing myself to post every other day on platforms like Facebook and Instagram and at least w once to three times on YouTube. The other thing that you need to work on is making a list of all of the, the stuff that you'll need when it comes time to release. So you'll get a better idea of what I mean when you see the next slide. It's basically gonna be making sure you have all of your images ready to go for posting leading up to the release and anything to do with your campaign. Like for example, if you have a video related to your single, make sure that's ready to go. Maybe you wanna create a lyric video leading up to your single, um, or maybe you want to create a bunch of graphics that are like countdown graphics with like three days left, two days left, one day left, that kind of thing. So all of this material, this is the time, one to two months before is the time to start getting down, get cracking on creating those. And again, if you need help with graphics, I'm happy to help. Just shoot me an email and let me know what your project's about. So four weeks before, this is when you can make an official announcement that you'll be releasing your single and you can give them the release date. So I've mentioned releasing my single like four months <laughs> four months back but this is like the official announcement uh, of when the date is actually going to come out so you can make that announcement everywhere on social media and if you want you could also start a pre-sale at this time i've never actually done a pre-sale campaign myself um that's not part of my goals. It's, it's more so related to building a following, my fans, and also getting more streams as well. But this is something still that you can do if you like four weeks out. Now, three weeks before, this is when you submit your song to the Spotify playlist, uh, to the Spotify editors for playlist consideration. So you, you can submit that and in that application form, you will see all of that legwork that you did earlier in terms of story and hook and what you sound like, all that will come into play here. You're basically pitching your song so that you can get set up on these playlists, which would be, which would mean a lot for you in terms of streams on your songs. And that kind of exposure can really help get the word out on your new single. Two weeks before, this is when you can start to do a countdown. So do 14 days until the release of my single. And you wanna post it with images or video or, I mean, get creative with it, right? Whatever the vibe is of your song, whatever the story is behind it, make sure it all kind of fits together. This whole campaign that you are running is all gonna fit into this self-promotion that you're doing. So two weeks out, you can start that countdown let people know and keep them on their toes. One week before, this is where you can do something like a show.co campaign. Show.co is, show is a site that allows you to set up a landing page and get people to do some sort of action that you want them to do in exchange for something else. So for example, if you have a page up 
and you are wanting, your goal is to get more Spotify followers, well, you can set something up in the background where they get access to an exclusive video or exclusive content in exchange for a Spotify follower. So this is something that I'm going to be doing and testing out for the first time. I read about it uh, from CD Baby and also at their conference in Nashville. And I'm going to be uh, testing this out. Basically what it is is sending uh, running ads to this page with your targeted audience coming to the page, seeing that page, and with the help of an engaging image, with the help of an engaging hook and headline, you will get their Spotify follow or an email subscriber or whatever your goal is. And once they do that, then they'll get access to your exclusive content, whatever it is on the background. So I say one week before uh, because this is what I'm going to do to get more Spotify followers. And they say that when you do that, when when uh, Spotify starts to see that algorithm spiking, like a lot of Spotify followers leading up to the release, they are more likely when that is actually released to be put or picked up, put out into playlists. So it's kind of a method that I learned and I'm going to be testing it out. But one week before, this is something that you want to be doing if that's also your goal is to gain more Spotify followers. And then finally, release day. So your single is released. You want to go crazy with like sending out your newsletter, um, putting a little post on your Spotify page, going on Facebook, going on Instagram, whatever platform you're using, YouTube, and just everywhere. Put a banner that says out now and the name of your single and let people know where they can get it from. If you put want to put your logos of like Spotify, Apple Music, so they know that they can just type in your name on those platforms and find your song. So this is my checklist for releasing a single. You can feel free to use it. I mean, that's why I'm sharing it. Let me know if you have any questions about anything or I can also create a, a video specifically on any one of these steps because there's just so much that because there's just so much that we can talk about on each one of these points on this checklist. So let me know by leaving me a comment down below if this was helpful and also giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel for more videos like this. And also guys, if this has been helpful, follow me on Spotify so you can see the type of promotion that I'm doing. You can also keep up to date with what I'm doing. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.